Well, I speak a little bit about the Zoom Gita Lab, which is the software that goes with the multi-effect processor Zoom G3N. So this is how it looks like the the Zoom. I'm gonna open the effect unit. The device will recognize it. It's loading the device. Okay, and this is the software itself. The Zoom Gitter Lab. There is these three bottoms up here. One say effect, another say patch, and another say editor. On the effort button, we found all the effects available on the unit. We have a par. Let's talk about the dynamics with compressors, noise reduction. Find another part about filters, which are here with auto uh, equalizers, monograph equalizers. Then we have some drive effects. Drive, Th those are quite interesting. We have a simulation of the Ibanez TS808, which they call it TS drive. We have a, a sweet sounding up drive here. A DIN drive that uh, it says this effect easily achieves the one drive tone of a tube amp. We have the red crunch, which is kind of a brown sound, some metal sound, and another kind of drives. We also have a acoustic si simulator here, and so on. Distortion, distortion plus. Would it say that it sounds like a MXR distortion? Also, after the drive section, we go to the amp section, which are models that uh, sound a little bit like the original amps. Uh, Marshall G GZM 800, Super Lead, Fender 65 Twin Rever, Fender 59 Baseman, and a few others, Mesa Boogie. STC. And also, apart from amps, we have cabinet that imitates the sound of a cabinet, like this Fender 65 Twin Rebel cabinet. And one that's, they say it sounds like a 12 selectional Nico speaker. Mr. Boogie Mark III cabinet. And so on. After that, we have the modulations, FX, with the classic FX like tremolo, chorus, stereo chorus, phaser, vintage flanger, vibrato, octave, detune, pitch shift, mono pitch, and so on. And after that, we arrive to the delays. We have a different kind of delays, as you include the delay, analog delay and the echoes as well. Then the rubber, rubber with a room, hall rubber, a spring rubber, fender spring rubber, plate, and so on. And when you connect the pedal, they have different functions that you're going to sing to the, the pedal that you connect to the unit. So you have all the list of the effects of the unit here in the effect button. Then if we go to the patch, we can see which are the the name of the patches they come from the factory, which are here, lead, phased, UFO, the brown, Fong Sauce, and so on, Grunschfuss, Texas Toast, right here. Those uh, patches are the ones that came from the factory, 
which, well, in a way, they are not very useful, but sometimes they are okay, and you know that you got them there. Sweet lead, blues, it's not bad. Brick grid, and uh, Dobro, out of funk, which is kind of a wah. And there is a total of uh, 70, 75, 75. And then, if you have uh, do the setup of some of your own patches, they also appear here. In this case, myself, I make basic drive, basic drive one, drive solo, tube screaming drive, tube screaming one, tube screaming drive. So the names that you give to the to the patches it appears as well here. Fender Baseman, TS Drive, and if they are empty, the name is it's empty. But what is more interesting about this unit is when you arrive to the editor, which is here, and for example, now I'm on the patch number. 86, which is one I make myself, which uh, is I name it Fender Basement, and I can see here what are the settings on this on this patch. So I have a Fender Basement amplifier here with those settings. If I would like to change it to change the setting, I could do it here just on the on the computer to change the amount of volume or the amount of of gain, whatever I want to change, I could do it here. I have also a uh, noise reduction from Zoom, which is a uh, noise reduction that works pretty well, and also can manage to change it here if I like. And I have also a narrow delay, which is a little bit of delay to give some deep to this to this patch. So on the editor, you can change the settings that you have on the unit. If I go to another one, I have another settings on another patch. If I change the patch in the unit, and now I'm on 85, now I'm on 82, now I'm number 82 patch, and in this case here I have a TS drive, noise reduction again, a fender twin amplifier, and some delay as well. So this software can help you very much to know what's going on on the Zoom G3N multi effect processor unit. All right, I hope this helps you. Thank you.